This week, I'm looking forward to talking to you about conversation marketing. If you uh, look that up, it's a very new phrase, and it's something that over the last 10 years of Building Academy, I've seen the power of conversation marketing build and build and build. And it's actually something that I think is going to be one of the most critical tool sets to anybody marketing their brand and building relationships around the globe through social networks. If we consider that uh, more conversations now are taking place inside social networks than on email, and if we also consider the fact that broadcast marketing is over, that attitude of a, a large organization thinking they can purely win your mind share by broadcasting information to you is becoming less and less liked by people. We're all massively overwhelmed by the amount of communication that's coming at us, and we're being more and more selective about what we want to hear. Conversation marketing is where you're actually having conversations with people, engaging with people in blogs, in comments, in anything where you can actually talk to one another online. Um, the old world very much depended on broadcast marketing, but the old world was very different. We're talking about 20th century values and before. The new world is much, much different. Uh, if you look at the way that people communicate inside Facebook, inside Academy, anywhere where you get a community, people are really wanting to empower one another. Global consciousness, social consciousness, breaking down the barriers of the way that people treat one another is becoming absolutely critical. And actually, I'm 44, so... Our generation are only just starting to feel, feel this, but actually the generation that's coming up behind us, working inside these social networks with one another, where they're managing their reputation, they're going to dominate the conversations that are happening inside these social networks. Now, the powerful thing is they're actually influencing thoughts. Conversations influence thoughts. We all know when we're at the pub, when we're standing by a bar, if somebody gives, them, give us, gives us their opinion, especially somebody that we respect, we know that that has a big, big impact on us. Now, I find this very interesting because entrepreneurs understand conversation marketing. They understand that actually interacting and creating a blog where you're encouraging the sharing of thoughts. We all know how successful that is, and we see the, the millions of blogs that are occurring around the world. Where I think that there's a big gap is, is between the larger organizations realizing that actually having a conversation with their customers is becoming critical. We had an experience of this recently in Academy, where I got an email from a large organization demanding that I took a blog down because this blog was written by someone. It must have taken them about an hour to create it, and 15 people had shared in this conversation. But this organization wanted us to take it down because, in their words, it was deflammatory. It was actually damaging their brand. When I contacted the, uh, the, the customer service director that was insisting it was taken down and said, look, you've got to think about this person. They're already very unhappy with you because of the service you've given. They already know that you have let them down. They've therefore reached out to their network and asked other people for advice and opinion. And those people are now sharing in that person's emotion about this. I'm now going to come in and just wipe that blog away. So not only have you lost the opportunity of speaking to them, you've also angered them even more. Now, their attitude was, well, why should I really lift my head above the parapet? What, what's the point in doing that? And what I was trying to explain to them was, actually, if you hold your hands up and say, processes, human error, let me have a conversation with you and even come and meet you. There's not just the person you're talking to, but it's the massive impact and vibration across the network that will have an impact on your reputation as a brand. So you've got your reputation as an individual that is so important to create but you've also got to really consider about what are other people saying about you in the network. Is it good? Is it bad? Or are they actually talking about a competitive product and you're not even aware it's on the landscape? So conversation marketing is something you need to embrace and learn, and you'll do that inside social networks.